another video, y'all. And today, we're gonna be talking about owning a Hellcat, guys. Owning a Hellcat, I got this big ass Hellcat Durango, y'all. We're gonna talk about prices, what it take to own it, how much it costs to own it, everything. We're gonna get into everything. It's gonna be a short video, y'all. We're gonna get right into it, y'all. And uh, for, the, for the people that haven't seen it, yes, I got this big ass Hellcat Durango. I got it cleaned up, looking all good. As usual, y'all, but we're gonna we're gonna get right into the video, y'all. We don't want to waste too much time. We're gonna talk about what it is or what it costs uh, to own one of these Hellcats. Uh, how much I pay? How much you'll probably pay? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're gonna get right into the video, so let's do it. Now we're gonna start with gas, y'all, because this is gonna be y'all damn the biggest biggest expense besides paying the damn car note. All right, and it's gotta be none other but premium. It gotta be. Y'all see premium in Texas, $391. So how much I'm paying for that premium? $60 in and it's still going, guys. And it's crazy out here. 70 bucks. And it probably still would've took more. Hang that on up right there. Hold that on up. Now as y'all can see, $70 gonna fill it up, y'all. Um, that might be the same thing for the for the for the charger and challenges as well. But uh we're gonna take y'all up to the sport mode real quick, y'all. And um I stay. I normally stay in auto, but uh, track and of course track and sport gonna burn way more gas, y'all. So uh, be 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 mindful of that. And of course, if y'all torn some, which everybody ain't gonna be torn nothing anyway. But track and sport, you are gonna burn hella gas with that uh, auto. I keep it in that, and I still burn hella gas. And I noticed they got the eco mode, which I never damn I never use at all. And it uh, supposedly save gas, but I don't know. I highly doubt it. I try probably and see. I did drive with it on with it on one time. And damn, man, my damn truck went slow as hell. Feel like I was driving a damn Prius or some shit. But I don't even ride with Eco Bowl on. Um, I don't, so I don't really know how 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 efficient it is. You know what I'm saying? But I, I typically ride in auto. Sometimes sport if somebody try me, and if you really want to try me, I'll put it in the track for you to show you I ain't no joke. You feel me? But uh, yeah. Except, so the gas, y'all, the gas, the fuel, the gas, y'all gonna spend. I spend about 500 a month, y'all. Fuel. I spend about 500 a month. Which is a, a whole nother damn bill itself. You know what I'm saying? And I only drive it on weekends, but when I drive it on the weekend, I drive, drive it. I drive the shit out of it. So I drive it on weekends, I spend about 500 in the fuel. So remember that, y'all. Y'all gonna spend some money in fuel, a lot of money in fuel, shit, honestly. So that's one thing y'all gotta think about when y'all buy one of these cars, man. The fuel is gonna eat y'all the hell up. Uh, some people probably spend more than that, but we spend about 500 for me. Uh, and that's a that's, that's a driving it on the weekend. This this Durango burns a shitload of gas, y'all. And I'm and sometimes I fill up a uh, uh, Saturday morning. I go out Saturday, kick it the whole Saturday, and I need gas again Sunday. And I had to put gas in it again Sunday. God damn it! And uh, I fill it up every rip. You know what I'm saying? I put seventy, and then I put another seventy in if it if it if it goes down that bad. But sometimes, like I said, I drive the shit out of it on Friday. Y'all see that damn hell okay, Y'all probably wondering what's that beam, and that's that right there beaming on the window and shit but yeah uh so that's that's the fuel guys we're gonna spend about if you're a weekend driver and you're gonna drive the shit out of it on the weekend probably about 500 bucks some people probably lower than that some people probably more than that especially if you're a daily driver shit i couldn't even i couldn't even imagine that probably be a little bit more you know what i'm saying so that's another bill right there so that's 500 itself so let's get on to the next one all right y'all let's talk car note now y'all it's the most important part it's the car note y'all this is the decision that you're gonna make before you even buy the damn car. It's the car note, right? So we're gonna talk about chargers and challenges because they're a little cheaper than the Durango's is. Uh, they could be around the same price if you get a real that. But just the regular charger and challenges, 707 or 717. Uh, we're gonna talk about the prices on that. And um, I seen some chargers and challenges. We're gonna talk about chargers right now. But they probably the same with the challenges as well. But the wild body jailbreak, I seen them for about 80 some 90, 90 up to ninety thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying for. Uh, just a regular 717 uh, wild body jailbreak, not the jailbreak red eye, just the regular wild body jailbreak. We talking about 87,000, which is one right here on the screen. I'm showing y'all right there. And um, we talking about 87,000, 90,000 dollars. You looking at with about 10,000 down, 10, 15,000 down, you might be looking at around 13, 14, no, about 15 dollars a month, somewhere in that range. You know what I'm saying? With 15, about 15,000 down, 10, 15,000 down. You could probably get your car note around like 15, 14, 1500 dollars or something like that. Now, um, 90 some thousand, hundred thousand dollars, your car note gonna be knocking on the two thousands, depending on what you put down. You know what I'm saying? So it could be up, up to two thousand dollars, depending on what you put down. Now, now if you want to go old, if you want to just, if you want to just get a Hellcat, 
and you don't give a damn about the year, you can always go back to the 2015s. That's when they started it. That's when they first started Hellcats, the 2015s. And you can find the 2015, I got one right on screen for y'all, $48,000. About, we're gonna say about 50 grand, right? We got 50 grand for a, a 15, uh, just a 15 Hellcat 707 horsepower, right? Now, they ain't gonna have a probably about, um, I don't know, I don't even see the miles. Boom, about a, about a, about a, about a, about a couple, about a, about 20,000, 30,000 miles on it, you know, 30, 40,000 miles on it, something in that area range. <clears throat> and you could probably find one of those for probably about eight, nine hundred dollars a month. Eight, nine hundred dollars a month. You still have a Hellcat. It just be old as shit. You know what I'm saying? But some people don't give a damn. Some people just want a Hellcat. And if you want a Hellcat, you can go this route right here. You can get your old one, about fifty grand. Pay about eight, nine hundred dollars a month. As long as, it's, as long as it's no accidents and um, they got a good history on it, they can take care of it. Then you know what I'm saying? Y'all can go for it. But other than that, y'all, uh, y'all can y'all can pay a lot of money. Y'all can pay up to two thousand dollars for a brand new one a month. Fifteen to two thousand for a brand new one. Or you can get an old one. Uh, Fifteen for about eight, eight hundred to a thousand dollars a month, and um, so that just you know what I'm saying. I'm just trying to give y'all some comparison on how y'all want to do it. Now, let's talk about me, right? I got this big ass Hellcat Durango. Uh, it's 2021. I got it used, y'all. I didn't want to get it to 23 because they cost so damn much. Um, I found this one right here. It had about six thousand miles on it when I bought it, so it's still practically new. Um, they got barely drove it. Shit, I bought it. Uh, what six months ago? I had about six months now. So the guy that hit it, he hit it for about what two years. I only put six thousand dollars on it. That wasn't bad, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I went on the Coptic. Which uh, the price for these is still high because I got this one for about ninety six. I think it was like ninety six out the door, just out the door, ninety six thousand. I got it on my credit union. So um, <clears throat> what I did was I did I got a check for my credit union, seventy thousand dollars check for my credit union, and I paid the difference. So when I went to the dealership, I gave them the $70,000 check. I paid the difference. And then, you know what I'm saying? That's how I got to where I'm at now. My car note is just in the beginning of the thousands. It's just in the beginnings of the thousands. So I'm in the low thousands of the, of the car payment, which is perfect for me. So um, that's 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 my story on my Hellcat. Uh, I'm in the low thousands. I didn't want to pay more than $1,500 for this car. I damn didn't, 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 didn't want to pay $2,000. Damn sure didn't want to pay $2,000 for sure. So I'm in the low thousands for this Hellcat Durango. Uh, insurance is around 200 something for me. Um, I ain't had no ticket in years. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no accidents ever. Uh, and I'm 32 years old, y'all. So my insurance is in the $200 range. Um, so everybody gonna diff everybody gonna be different as far as insurance go. So if you young, if you young as shit, you're in your 20s, you know, of course you're gonna probably pay a little bit more, especially if your driving record bad, you're gonna probably pay a little bit more. Uh, I see people paying up to five, six hundred dollars a month in insurance, and sometimes that's, that's for scat packs. You know what I'm saying? They pay around <clears throat> four, five, six hundred dollars a month in insurance. So it just depends on y'all driver record, so y'all can't compare what I pay for everybody else. Everybody's gonna be different when they run them numbers, and it also varies by <clears throat> the state that you live in and the area that you live in. All that takes a, 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 a big consideration on um, your insurance. Now, when you do get insurance for these cars, make sure if y'all got safety things on these cars, like I got. Uh, I got all kind of safety shit on this car. I got sensors for the windows, any window breaker sensors on them. Um, I got uh, everything, everything you could think of security wise. I got it on this damn truck. Like this damn thing gonna be almost impossible to steal it. But I don't wanna talk about anything I got, but I got a lot of shit on it, you know what I'm saying? So just run through with your insurance company, tell them like you got this, you got that on your car. You know what I'm saying? That could drop you down a little bit too. And um, they be trying to plug this damn, uh, the, the uh, speed tracker OB thing and your, and your OB thing, your OB port, and they'll be trying to get you to save 15%. But now nah, we, we can't do that one in this car, y'all, because our insurance gonna shoot up when they see we doing them the 200 miles an hour on the highway. But we ain't gonna talk about that one, but anyways, yeah. But it, it just it's just little ways for y'all to save money. They be giving little uh, the perks and shit for y'all to save money and all that. But yeah, I paid about 200 some a month for this, and uh, I pay in the early thousand off early thousands. Uh, for my for my car payment, which is which is perfect for me. So when y'all go uh, shopping for y'all Hellcat or scat packs, make sure y'all get a car note that's suitable for y'all, because everybody's situation is different depending on what you make and depending on what you got to spend per month. Everybody's situation is different. Now, the car note that I got, um, I, it, su it was suitable for me. That's why I put, um, you know, I put down, I get on my my check plus, you know, my extra because I didn't want my car note to be as high as it would have been if I didn't put down the little extra money I put down. Uh, on top of the check that my uh, finance company, that my credit union gave me. So I wanted my car note to be why I got it at. And I mapped that out before I even bought this car. 
<clears throat> because your car payment can exceed, you know what I'm saying, what you want. So don't just go buy the car and then think about it when you buy it, like, damn, I'm thinking I'm paying too much. No, y'all got to think about that shit before y'all buy this car. Um, so that's number two. That's number three. Number two and three, because that's insurance and payment, right? Now, maintenance. Um, <clears throat> you most likely gonna have a warranty on it, so uh, a lot of shit you ain't gonna have to worry about. Now, what you is, what you is gonna have to worry about is tires. Now, tires is then that's missing, and I'm gonna show y'all right here. So I found this tires that's the same exact tire that's on my car already. Uh, the 295, 45, 20s. They already come in stock on these cars already, and as y'all can see right here on the screen, they want 545 dollars per tire for y'all. And that was for discount tire. Now I could probably search around and see if I can find them a little cheaper. They probably do got them a little cheaper somewhere else, but this is the first place I look. Uh, I ain't even called Dodge, but they as normally be taxing. So um, I found this one for 545 a tire. So uh, these tires are not cheap, y'all. We talking about 545 dollars for one, for one tire, y'all, for one goddamn tire. They got four tires, y'all. We talking about for one tire, 545 dollars. Now. <clears throat> that's for the brand that's on here. Now, if I switch brands and go to another brand, um, you know, I could probably pay a little cheaper. But when you go, on, when you buy these cars, y'all don't want to go too cheap. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to buy cheap, cheap ass tires and then you have to replace them sooner than you normally would have to. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you don't want to go too cheap, y'all. So <clears throat> these are the tires that's factory on my car already. It's 545 per tire. So um, the tires are pretty expensive as well, guys. So uh, keep that in mind as well when y'all don't burn out. So all y'all spend out some shit, you keep that in y'all head. Like, damn, I'm going to pay all this money for these damn tires when I get done doing this dumb ass shit I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I be thinking about when I be doing my spin outs and burn outs. So I be like, damn, man, these tires ain't cheap as fuck. And I'm going to go ahead and spend it. You know what I'm saying? But keep that in mind, y'all. Y'all going to spend some money on these tires. So that's another, uh, that's another thing y'all got to worry about. Brakes. Don't even let me get started on brakes, y'all. They high as hell. You're going to spend over $1,000 on brakes and rotors. You're going to spend over $1,000. These Bruno brakes on here, y'all. Six pistons. Uh, Scat packs, four pistons. Y'all going to spend a lot of money for either one. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be over $1,000 for sure. So <clears throat> keep that in mind as well, guys. The, the brakes, the tires, the rotors, all that shit is just, it's just high. So if y'all had like a Buick or something before then, and y'all was paying um, uh, uh, JoJo up the street to, to, to fix it in the alley. Y'all can't do that over here. Y'all can't pay JoJo to come over here and fix these Brembo brakes. And y'all go to AutoZone and, and pay, you know what I'm saying, $30, $40 for the brakes and rotors. And then you smack them on the car, JoJo, smack them on in the alley with the jack. And then you good to go up, up the road. And all this ain't the same thing. You know what I'm saying? You got a cat. You, know, you got a scat. It's going to be a whole different situation, y'all. This shit is way higher than it was when you had JoJo in the alley fixing your shit. This shit going to be a whole lot more... You know what I'm saying? Then what you normally used to. If y'all came from a regular car like I did. No, I came from a charger. I had an RT charger before this, but before the RT charger, I had uh I think I had the Grand Prix, the Buicks, and I had all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So um, you know, the shit is high, y'all. It ain't the same, you know what I'm saying, as as it was in your old in your, in your old car. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm talking about oil changes, y'all. Oil changes, full synthetic. I put it full synthetic in mine. Some people put synthetic blend or however you want to do it, but I put full synthetic in mine. Uh, I think the last oil change I got was a hundred and see what was I paid? What I paid a hundred and I can't remember thirty something. I don't know. It's a hundred and something. I paid a hundred and some dollars for synthetic uh, oil up in this car. Uh, all kill, all hell care is gonna pretty much be the same, y'all. It's gonna be probably about a hundred some dollars in oil changes. So also keep that in mind as well. Um, your oil changes are gonna definitely hit you as well. So that's another bill y'all got to think about. So these are some pricey ass cars that you want to that you want to. Um, that you wanna uh, own, you know what I'm saying? So we talk about my car note, my insurance, and um, just talk about tires and all that shit. So you're, you're gonna be paying a lot of money for these cars, so just think about that, y'all. Y'all gonna be paying a lot of money for these cars. It's gonna be a lot to maintain, but they fun as fuck to drive. Is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. Shit, you get to drive a cat or a scat? Yes, it's, it's fucking worth it. Yes, I love driving down the highway, and everybody looking at that damn sign right there in the back of my window, and then they bucking a the horn and shit at me, you know what I'm saying, for attention and all, and they, they giving me all the attention. Even all I don't really care about it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just doing my thing. But I'm just, you know what I'm saying, riding down the highway, everybody blowing the horn, telling me something, you know what I'm saying? Thumbs up and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? I like it. But uh, it's a fun car to drive besides the attention, because I already care about that. I just care about the car, you know what I'm saying? The car is nice as hell to drive. It's fun. It's a fun car to drive, you know what I'm saying? I enjoy every minute of it, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's worth it to me, you know what I'm saying? And and it, and it fits in my financial life, you know what I'm saying? It got to fit your financial life, y'all. Y'all can't just be buying these cars. And and uh, and you're struggling to pay the to you struggling to pay the note, the insurance, or you can't even afford tires when the damn tires bust. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be able to think about all that, y'all. It's a fun car to drive, but they pricey. I'm 
I'm gonna let y'all know that now. The county is pricey, you know what I'm saying? But if y'all got the bread to do it, man, go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? It's just it, it's y'all ain't gonna regret it. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be the same thing for Scott too. They they gonna be a little pricey to to maintain. You know what I'm saying? They these cars ain't cheap at all. So that's gonna be our biggest expense. Of course, after you buy the car, the car note. But besides the car note, the gas is what's gonna is what's gonna eat y'all. The gas, the gas, the goddamn gas. And then if y'all keep it in the sports and track mode, remember y'all gonna burn way more gas than y'all gonna burn in auto. Y'all gonna burn a whole lot more gas. So just think about that. Sport and track, y'all gonna be burning a shitload of gas, especially if y'all are racing. Y'all gonna consistently racing, y'all gonna be burning a lot of gas. Now me, <clears throat> I'll be more chill than I race. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I get on the highway, I cruise a lot. Everybody know what this car could do. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gotta prove it to everybody. But it is sometimes I gotta get on your ass. It is sometimes I gotta get it, cause some people playing with me. So I, it is sometimes I gotta get on your ass and I might have to, you know, you know, you know, do that to you. You know what I'm saying? Because they think this cat on the side of my car is fake. I don't know what the hell they think. But sometimes I gotta show them, you know what I'm saying, how I get down. And then sometimes I might wanna get on the highway doing 300 miles an hour. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just some shit. You, you might wanna do some dumb shit here and there. You know what I'm saying? You gonna do some dumb shit here and there. And that dumb shit gonna cost you in gas. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Every time you push this damn paddle on this truck, on this on, on your hill cat or your scat bag or whatever, burning a hell of gas. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you're gonna wanna push it a little bit, cause I do sometimes. I cruise a lot, but sometimes I do, you know, I wanna get on my dumb shit, you know, and and, and, and get on the highway doing going, doing 200 miles an hour just because I could do it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, for the most part, I'm chill. You know what I'm saying? I don't really be out there acting crazy, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll be chill unless somebody play with me in traffic. If y'all wanna play with me in traffic. Don't play with me in traffic because I'm gonna do that to you. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I'll be chill. It's a fun car, y'all. So um with that being said, y'all, go on out there and get y'all in one a scatter cat. <clears throat> um, y'all can either get an old one, which gonna you gonna still it's still a it's still a it's still a cat. Y'all get an old cat 16, it's still a cat, it don't even matter. Or well, unless y'all got that bag and y'all wanna go buy an 80, 80, 90, or hundred thousand dollar one, you know what I'm saying? Or y'all just wanna buy a scat, you know what I'm saying, and and and, and still have a speed. Still have 480 some horsepower and still save a little bit of money, you know what I'm saying? So that's our options right there. So um that's 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 my out my output on everything uh as far as the scatting and cat go. That's the prices for everything. That's what y'all gonna y'all that's the that's the bracket of what y'all gonna pay. You know what I'm saying? Now if y'all go get the scat, let me talk about all oh, real quick. Let me get y'all the prices for a scat real quick. The scat is gonna be similar to that that old hell cat I just showed y'all. It's gonna be probably in the 50 something all. Actually the scats are up to 60,000. Scats are up to 60. Which means y'all gonna pay up to a thousand dollars a month for a scat pack if y'all buy a brand new up to sixty thousand dollars. Up to sixty thousand dollars, sixty something thousand, sixty about sixty-five. They they're somewhere in that range, you no know, out the door. Sixty-five, sixty about sixty-five to sixty-seven, somewhere in out that range. You're gonna pay up to about twelve, eleven, twelve hundred dollars a month for a scat pack. Yeah, you're gonna pay about that for a scat pack brand new. Now unless y'all wanna go get a used one. Well, they ain't gonna do no markups on the used one. They only gonna do the markups on the brand new ones. So if y'all go to the used one, used one maybe about a year or two old, you can save a couple of dollars, pay about nine hundred, you know, nine hundred to eleven hundred in that in that range, something like that. But you know, it's just how y'all wanna do it. Everybody gonna be different. You know what I'm saying? You can either buy a brand new one if you got it, buy a used one to save a couple of dollars. But either way it go, y'all, it's gonna be a fun car, no matter if it's used or if it's a, or if it's brand new. Man, I use and I drive the shit out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like. I enjoy the shit out of this car. I enjoy every bit of it, you know what I'm saying? But I make sure I take care of it. I do everything um, that I need to do to it. You know what I'm saying? And I, and, I, and, and I keep it good. And then keep inexperienced people that ain't used to driving these type of cars from behind the wheel of y'all shit. Or if they start wrecking y'all shit. So just make sure they know what they doing before you even um, get them the keys uh, to the car. But that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, that's the prices of owners a Hellcat and a Scat Pack, y'all. Um, but don't y'all do me a favor, hit that sub button. Hit that like button, comment what y'all think on the on the uh, video uh, 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 about the numbers. The numbers are probably gonna be close to what I said. It's gonna be somewhere in that range of what I said. But yeah, just 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 comment up on the, on the video and let me know y'all ranges or uh, 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 prices of scat packs or Hellcats or whatever. Hit that sub button for me too, y'all. And also go to my Instagram and uh, um, follow me on Instagram. My King Flex is the same name as right here on this YouTube page. It's the same name uh, on my Facebook and my Instagram. So y'all go over there, hit me a follow real quick. And um, that's it, y'all. So that's the price of a Hellcat, a scat pack, and we out. Lego.